So on my website, Hunimal.org, I just wrote a blog about power and what you would want to do with money if you could and with power if you could. And one of the things I would like is for a group of people to periodically benefit greatly by being within that group. And then I would want to expand that as wide as possible and include as many people as possible. With the new American dollar, we can enforce increases in its value using old American dollars as uh, backup so that people can confidently buy them because they know they can buy back to the old American dollar. And since every new American dollar always costs more than an old one, it, it'll start out at a dollar a penny and people will have an opportunity to buy a bunch of them and then it becomes a dollar and two pennies. And when that happens, everybody that has one gets a little bit more money. But it leaves people out. I don't know how to fix that. Because how do you tell somebody, like, how do you say to somebody, I've given you this new American dollar and here's how to access it across all boundaries? You know, what you would want to do is make it a new earth dollar where everybody gets a cut and initially give everybody like a hundred bucks. But there's, I mean, obviously nobody's got that kind of money. So I don't have anything original is disastrous, but it's a conclusion I come back to. And my fursuit is original. And I'm gonna name it Chomo, the chocolate monster. That's avant-garde, that's, that's on the edge because there are pedophobes out there that think that I'm something I'm not. And they call me pedo or chomo, but cho they're misusing that because the trademark's in. Chomo is the chocolate monster. And so I can take that word from them. And if I'm successful in the fursuit, I'll never give it back because that type of pedophobia does not help anyone. It does not reduce child abuse. That's just idiocy. That's all it is. And we can do better, far better. And it's obvious that we can. And But that's why I'm taking the advantage of the opportunity. Because Chomo the furry is, is instantly an eye grabber. And if you just get a group of people accustomed to telling people no, that's the old version of that C word. We don't say that around here. The only chomo is chocolate uh, monster. The chocolate monster, the brown acevacorn. That's the only chomo that exists. So fuck you and don't say that around us uh, until you figure out the new meaning. And that's what I envisioned for the N word, but I... I think this would be more fun. It would be a nice little side quest. And maybe it can feed into fixing the N-word. I don't think it will. I don't see how. That's so nettlesome. It's very difficult, but we shouldn't complain because that's not what we do. We boast, we crow, we conquer, we succeed. <laughs> I realize that's just a message of privilege. What does it mean that we succeed? Well, for us, success would be changing my name to Negra Fagatar and, and creating some images of Chomo, the, the furry chocolate monster uh, for TikTok and YouTube. And from there, I don't know the paths fork and we could do anything.
and I, I'd like to do it with you, anything. I don't know yet. You know, we can only go forward with our values. But all everything I'm saying is like virtue signaling when I talk about things in the abstract. I'm not trying to, but values and success, all of that kind of talk is from people that want to sell you a bullshit ticket. And I'm honest about what I have. It's a bullshit ticket. I don't like the new American dollar is not going to make everyone rich. The Chomo, the furry is going to be a side show at my tiny circus. And that's okay with me because little change is all you can do. Anyway, have a good day.